I'm Dominique Lavinier, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter. 22 year old Bakersfield native Daniel Becker Jr. was shot and killed outside of a McDonald's drive through in Arizona. And now his memories are left behind on this court in Bakersfield. Donnie Betker used to play basketball with his brother around town. How did it feel when you beat your other brother in basketball? That shit was the greatest feeling. Because <laughs> he was out here in Bakersfield, he was the best, the best player in Bakersfield. But now he's playing alone. Donnie woke up the morning of January 13th to a missed call from his dad and one from his older brother. And I'm just like, damn, I don't know. I got this bad vibe in my body. Daniel Jr. was shot multiple times following an altercation in a McDonald's drive through in Mesa, Arizona more than 700 miles away from Bakersfield. As soon as Daniel Becker Sr., his father, heard the news, he hit the road, saying he spent every minute of the more than eight-hour drive thinking about his son. Couldn't get there fast enough. And that, um, I wish that I was there to protect him, or at least to help him. You know, let him know that I loved him. Court documents show the man involved in the shooting has been charged with second degree murder. At the time of his death, Daniel Becker Jr. was just one week away from his 23rd birthday. Jordan, happy birthday to you. Which his family celebrated without him. I feel like I lost a part of myself and I don't wish that on any Parent. But Daniel Jr.'s death is just another caused by gun violence. Due to that, Daniel Sr. would like to see a change. You should be able to own a firearm, but not at 25. You shouldn't be able to carry, uh, not until you're at least 25, because the maturity is not there. Most recent data from the Center for Disease Control reports guns as the leading cause of death among kids and teens ages 1 to 19 in 2022, with the highest rates impacting youth of color. If you were a little bit more mature, Maybe things went, went the way that they went that night. Despite his loss, Daniel Sr. wants to keep his son's legacy alive. He was my shadow, my little mini me. And his brother is doing the same. They gave me some of his clothes. I'm just going to wear them, remember him, keep it in his name, play basketball in his name. You can review the court documents in full detail on our website, turn to 23com For 23ABC News, I'm Dominique Lavinier, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter.